For many people, planning can be an emotional and difficult subject to understand. The planning system can seem overwhelming. There is a wrong way to approach it. If you work against the system, your voice will not be heard. It is important to be reasonable and constructive when forming your objection. Objecting a planning application can seem a daunting prospect. However, if you know what to do, you should be able to move through the motions with ease. We've seen how not to act, so what can you do? When objecting, you should generate support in your local community and make contact with your local planning authority. Ensure your views are illustrated in an objective argument whilst using policy and development plans to your advantage. When the local planning authority has made a decision, make sure you recognise it and act upon it. Don't be afraid to contact the planning officer handling the application. You have the legal right to send written comments as an individual. Or as representative of a community action group to the local planning authority. You can use your local action group to raise awareness in your local community. You can view applications online by accessing your local authority's website, going to the planning area and clicking online register. You can search by reference number or keywords and postcodes. You can view your supporting documents or make comments by registering. It is also possible to search by map. Be aware that once the local planning authority receives the application, they have eight weeks to make a decision. This is your time window, an opportunity to let them know what you think about the application. You can attend committee meetings, but only one person can speak in objection as a representative for usually five minutes. When objecting, it is important to refer to relevant policies. This will form a constructive and objective argument that is reasoned as your emotions and opinions on their own will not stand the test of the planning process. Development plans set out the policy for your area and form the basis for decisions, so it's important to use them in your argument. Be prepared to reference specific policies relevant to your case. If policies in your plan contradict your stance, you will need to argue why they are not applicable to your case. A decision can only be made based on material considerations. These include national policy, impacts on the environment and loss of sunlight. Loss of view, loss of property value and business competition are not material considerations. You have now learned how to object to planning application. Good luck with your objection.